our lead story tonight. The BGP had celebrations across the country down to each booth as the party celebrated its 43rd Foundation Day. The Prime Minister's speech set the 2024 BGP agenda with him saying that people are already saying we're going to win 2024. The Congress thinks small, we think big. अभी से कहना शुरू कर दिया है कि 2024 में भाजपा को कोई नहीं हरा सकता ये बात सही भी है लेकिन हमें एक भाजपा कार्यकर्ता के नाते इस देश के हर नागरिक का दिल जीतना है बैटल लाइंस ड्रॉन फॉर 2024 विद द प्राइम मिनिस्टर स्केडिंग अटैक ऑन द ऑपोजिशन ऑन द डे हिज पार्टी टर्न 43 Setting the agenda for the Lok Sabha polls, Prime Minister Modi said that the BJP is committed to rid India of parties with a Baad Shahi mindset, a direct swipe at the Congress. Congress or unke jaisi partiyon ka culture, un partiyon ki pehchan kya hai? Ye unhi ke culture mein se pata hui hai. उन पार्टियों के पहचान है पार्टी का नाम लेते ही ये की बात दिखती है सारी पार्टियों का दर्द देख लीजिए परिवारवाद वंशवाद जातिवाद और क्षेत्रवाद का बंधक है ये सारे लोग the BJP's week-long campaign for the Prime Minister's comeback in 2024 was kicked off by party president JP Nadda who urged workers across states to paint millions of walls with Modi's re-election message on the party's foundation week. Aapke netritu mein party ne kach se lekar ke purvottar tak party ne sarkare bhi banai aur apne taakat ko logon ne saraha bhi aur aashirwad bhi bharpoor aashirwad bhi. The Prime Minister's focus today was to energize party workers into election mode. In the coming week, the BJP is only going to intensify its campaign for 2024 with booth-level meetings, slogans and jibes. Well, while the Prime Minister said that the BJP is born out of the womb of democracy, the opposition continues to strongly attack the BJP over what it calls the death of democracy. In New Delhi with camera person Sushil Rati, Vedant for NDTV. And today, the last day of the second part of the budget session, which lasted three weeks. But this parliament's second half of the session witnessed the lowest productivity in five years of the, of, of the Modi government's parliament sessions. 34% productivity in the Lok Sabha and just 24.4% productivity in the Rajya Sabha. The opposition today also held a Tiranga Yatra on the steps of parliament. The productivity of the first part of the budget session was 56.3 percent, while for the second part it plummeted to an abysmal 6.4 percent. Cumulatively, the house productivity was only 24.4 percent. There are six honourable members. House stands urgent. Two budget takkidi. A near total washout of the second leg of Parliament's budget session. The BJP wanted Rahul Gandhi's apology over his democracy under threat remarks in London. The Congress wanted a JPC probe into the Hindenburg report. And Mr. Gandhi's disqualification from the Lok Sabha after his defamation conviction only led to more ruckus. The opposition which talk, uh, talks about democracy should remember they had a role to play in the Parliament. They had a role to ask me questions about the budget. आखिरी दिन को भी कांग्रेस और उनके साथियों ने बहुत गलत तरीके से डिस्टर्ब किया हाउस को चलने नहीं दिया लेकिन एक कांग्रेस नेता श्री राहुल गांधी को लेकर के कांग्रेस पार्टी और उसके साथियों ने जो किया है देश देख रहा है सभा की कार्रवाई अनिश्चित काल के लिए स्थगित की जाती है after the Lok Sabha was adjourned sine die earlier in the day, due to protests by opposition MPs, members from 20 opposition parties took out a joint march carrying the national flag, 
from Parliament under the banner Safe Democracy. In a joint presser addressed by the TMC, AAP, the BRS and 16 other parties, the opposition declared they would unite outside Parliament too to fight the BJP. रूलिंग पार्टी के लोग ही डिस्टर्ब करते हैं और इसका उद्देश्य यही है जो हमने मुद्दे उठाए हैं खास करके आदानी के इशू पे कौन सा ऑर्डर मिला कैसा मिला ये सारे डिटेल यहाँ पर चर्चा होना चाहिए इसीलिए well, the blame game over parliament disruption continues, Congress, the principal opposition party, wants to build on the unity displayed by opposition parties inside the parliament. Sources say, Malia Junkage, the Congress president, will soon write to all like-minded opposition parties, including Ahmadmi Party, TMC and BRS, for a meeting in order to chalk out a joint strategy outside the parliament too. With camera person Sachin Gupta, this is Arvind Gunaseka for NDTV. Meanwhile, there's a poignant father versus son political battle playing out over Anil Antony, the son of Congress loyalist A.K. Antony, joining the BGP today. Anil Antony had quit the Congress amid his views on the BBC docu-series Rao and what the Congress had said. He said today, Anil Antony, that he was joining the BGP as a young Indian to support Prime Minister Modi in nation building. A.K. Antony, who held a press conference a few hours later, said he did not support his son's decision and he will be against the BGP RSS ideology till his last breath. Anil Antony, son of veteran Congress leader A.K. Antony, joined the BJP on its foundation day today in the presence of top BJP ministers. Congress ke kai neta aur karyakarta mante hai ki unka dharam ek parivar ke liye kaam karna hai. लेकिन मुझे लगता है कि मेरा धर्म इस राष्ट्र के लिए काम करना है हमारे आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी के पास हमारे देश को अगले 25 साल में एक विकसित राष्ट्र बनाने के लिए एक बहुत स्पष्ट दृष्टिकोण है अ डेवलपमेंट दैट लेफ्ट हिज 82 ईयर ओल्ड फादर विजिबली पेंट Antony Senior has always been a strong Gandhi loyalist. He retired last year from the Rajya Sabha after 50 years in electoral politics, always with the Congress. I strongly feel it's a wrong decision. Till my last breath, I will oppose all the wrong policies of RSS and BSP, BJP. That family represents the, all the constitutional values. And that family treat every Indians as one. BJP is viewing its new journey as crucial for its reach out to the minorities in Kerala. 45% of the population in the state where BJP has no elected MLA or elected parliamentarian currently. Congress party is yet to respond to this officially. But some within the party believe that this move will not translate into votes. Uh, Minister V. Murli Dharan, the first to address the media welcoming uh, Anil into the BJP uh, fold, uh, chose to uh, do so in Malayalam. Haindava Vibhagatil Pedana Varela Tavare, Bharati Janada Party, Swagadam Jaila in the Ladakh, Christava, Mother Vishwasi Aitla, Sri Anila Andani, Adhatene de Bharati Janada Party Kula Kadan Varevu, E. Teratula Prajadangal Naratanavarku, Ula Uru Marbadi Gudia. Anil K. Antony was the social media convener for the Congress in Kerala. He quit earlier this year after a backlash over his stand on the controversial BBC docuseries that he claimed attacked the sovereignty of India and wrote a public letter attacking dynastic politics in the Congress. With SP Babu, Sneha Koshi for NDTV. Well, today the Congress released its second list of 42 candidates of, uh, for Karnataka. So far, 166 have been announced out of a total of 224 seats. The Congress says it's stolen a march over the BGP, which hasn't announced any candidates yet. The third list the Congress says will be announced tomorrow, but the suspense continues over a second seat for ex-Chief Minister Siddharamaya, with senior sources telling NDTV that he's not likely to get the chance to contest from
from a second seat. However, today NDTV also spoke exclusively to State Congress Chief D.K. Shiv Kumar and when asked about the controversial Siddharamaya interview to NDTV where he said the high command won't decide the next chief minister, it would be the elected MLAs, D.K. Shiv Kumar said the party has always stood by those who stood by them, though he says we'll deliver Karnataka first and then worry about chief minister. D.K. Shivakumar wants to become the chief minister, nothing wrong. If I become, want to become the chief minister, some ex wants to become the chief minister, nothing wrong. Ultimately, the newly elected MLS, they have to elect okay, so the leader, leader of the legislature party. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, High Command has to take a decision. So that is the democratic procedure. If the High Command decides, saying that let's give way for the new blood, probably D. K. Kumar. Would you be willing to give up that ambition? No. See, that won't happen because we have to go by the democratic process. Okay. That question does not, I command will not take a decision on its own. Okay. Go by the opinion of the newly elected MLA. I've been a loyal soldier of the party and I have not uh, betrayed the party at any point of time. We both together see that Congress party comes to power and then the party high command will take its own call. My only aim to deliver Karnataka to the Congress party and to the country. I think for the day one, I have not slept. I have travelled the nook and corner of the state, taken every section of the party and the fought on the streets of Karnataka. And today I am very proud to tell that Karnataka will have a change, it will have a good government with a governance. So let's see how that plays out. But for now, the Congress, the first of the starting mark on declaring its candidates, the BGP list expected next week. The other big headline tonight is the RBI's focus on growth after its latest monetary policy meeting. The RBI has left the lending rate unchanged at 6.5%. The rate hike pause is a relief for existing uh, borrowers and new borrowers and experts say it will be a big boost for growth in the real estate industry and home buyers in particular. This is the first time that the RBI has left rates unchanged since May 2022 with the markets gaining. The Sensex gaining 143 points, the Nifty gaining 42 points. Taking all these factors into consideration, the real GDP growth for 2023-24 is projected at 6.5%. The risks are evenly balanced. In other news, we are tracking closely the rise in COVID cases. And though in most cases, a majority of cases, it's mild and it doesn't need hospitalization, there is worry over the impact on senior citizens and people who are vulnerable. In Mumbai, COVID war rooms have opened once again. And of those patients who are in hospital, at least half are on oxygen support. COVID war rooms in Mumbai hospitals back to work. COVID bed management, counselling patients, all handled in the war room. A majority of patients are now asymptomatic and the cases are coming in from a wide cross-section of society and income groups. Uh, is bar on an average 10 to 11 cases per day are rahe hai south ward mein aur randomly are rahe hai slum se bhi are aur non slum se bhi are rahe hai. The positivity rate in Mumbai is more than 11%. And people are reluctant to test. The other big challenge for the BMC, only 15% of the population has taken the booster shot. There are two things, two aspects. If you have to test them, then you have to be home isolated. Then you have to be different from them. For example, office hours are these. But from the BMC, we have to create our help post. We have to create our people's awareness that you have to test them quickly so that the admission rate is less, the treatment is less, the recovery is less, the recovery is less. तो जिनका बूस्टर डोज है वो हम लोग कॉल करके बताते हैं उनको कि आप लीजिए करके इन टेन डेज द पॉजिटिविटी रेट हैज डबल्ड एंड केसेस हैव गॉन अप टू एंड हाफ टाइम्स ऑन थर्सडे केसेस वर मोर देन फाइव थाउजेंड अक्रॉस द कंट्री ऑन सेकंड अप्रैल थ्री थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर केसेस वर रिपोर्टेड फोर डेज लेटर दे आर फाइव थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फाइव दैट्स अ फोर्टी परसेंट इंक्रीज ये वेरिएंट 
बहुत जल्दी स्प्रेड करता है बहुत इन्फेक्टिव है दो दिन के अंदर इसकी तादाद बढ़ जाती है अभी जो वेरिएंट है इतना डिथेल नहीं है सो फार डॉक्टर्स से मोस्ट पीपल आर रिपोर्टिंग माइल्ड सिम्टम्स द हाईएस्ट नंबर ऑफ केसेस आर ऑफ कोर्स बीइंग रिपोर्टेड फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र बट क्लियरली देयर इज नो रूम फॉर नेगलिजेंस विद 50% ऑफ दीस पेशेंट्स रिक्वायरिंग ऑक्सीजन सपोर्ट विद परिमल कुमार इन दिल्ली एंड पूजा भारद्वाज इन मुंबई हर्षा कुमारी सिंह एनडीटीवी A look at international news. French President Emmanuel Macron, on a visit to Beijing, has urged uh, China's Xi Jinping to bring Russia to its senses and bring everyone back to the negotiating table. This conversation is reported to have happened during the bilateral meeting of the two in Beijing. Xi also called for peace talks to resume as soon as possible in a joint press briefing after the talks. The European Commission president also joined Macron in Beijing in a show of solidarity of Europe against Russia's war in Ukraine. 关于乌克兰危机，中方坚持劝和促谈，政治解决。中方愿同法方一道，呼吁国际社会保持理性克制，避免采取使危机进一步恶化甚至失控的行动。Le sérieux, l'esprit de responsabilité qu'imposent les questions nucléaires, et la volonté que la France partage, qu'évidemment le nucléaire soit exclu totalement de ce conflit, qu'il y ait le respect de l'ensemble des traités internationaux en la matière, et qu'en aucun cas il ne puisse y avoir de déploiement d'armes nucléaires en dehors du territoire des États dotés, en particulier en Europe. Et à cet égard, chacun doit être rappelé à ses devoirs, en particulier la Russie, qui a annoncé il y a quelques jours.